Songhai versus Abyssia. Alright, Songhai versus Abyssian, we are going second, not first. Uh, let's replace Trinity Wing, everything else seems fine. We're gonna now be Sage, so we can just do a Cryptographer, Bloodborne, a Cryptographer, Darkfire Sacrifice into that if we wanted to. Uh, but let's just go over here, play a Cryptographer, and then our Bloodborne spell, and then we can just do Shenanigans next turn with uh, Alvin Sage and whatnot. So we'll end our turn there. And we got another Cryptographer. Oh, so that's two, four mana. And then with the Bloodborne spell, that'll be five mana. So I don't know if I, I'll need a mana spring if I'm gonna do the Albi Sage route. But if I'm going the Prismatic Illusionist route, I don't need the mana spring, but we'll see if the opponent gets the mana springs or not. So I'm probably playing against Backstab, uh, this, uh, Backstab, uh, Song high, but we'll see. Because if I am playing against back, so I need to play safe. Kindling. Oh, I'm playing against Arcanist Song High. Okay. Whenever you cast a spell, your Arcanist minion gets plus one attack. That's not nice. I have to get rid of that. So we have four mana. Can I? I mean, I can get four mana with this and that. And then that. So, so I can do Darkfire Sacrifice to bring this down to one, and then use that to play Ritual Banishing. So I think that's better. That's a better option. So put more shells back just in case the opponent does have backstab. Well, Darkfire Sacrifice the one closer, I think. Then we can just play a Prismatic Illusionist here. And then we can just Ritual Banish the other Wraithling to kill the Kindling. Because the Kindling is going to be annoying, especially with Songhai, because Songhai has spells. And then we have things that we can play next turn. I'll be Sage and whatnot in one or turn. Hopefully our board doesn't get cleared, but knowing Songhai, there's always a chance. So we got a Void Pulse if we need to. A uh, Cryptographer if we need to, but probably just going to do I'll be Sage Bloodborne spell. Let's see if he plays another Kindling. Sparrowhawk, put a Mist Dragon Seal in your action bar. Wait, it's a Mist Dragon Seal because the uh, Arcan is spawned. And a Chakri Avatar, that's not nice. But he's gonna kill the Prismatic Illusionist. Ah, uh, dang. Or is he gonna attack me? I feel like he's gonna kill the Prismatic Illusion. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Okay, let's replace Cryptographer. Then we got a Mana Forger. But we can't play that yet, so let's just play an Albi Sage into, uh, let's move this down here, into Bloodborne Spell. And we can attack, and then we can just, uh, attack. And we'll end our turn. Hopefully that will do something. I don't know, we got a Death Knell. Might replace it, since it's kind of too early for a death now. Might just have to do a Mana Forge or Void Pulse. Hammond Blade Seeker. That's not nice. I mean, if we get a Demonic Lure, then I'm fine, but if we're not- if I don't, then that's gonna be bad. So, uh, let's replace death now. Then we got another Albi Sage. That's fine by me. Uh, let's just move this here. And then we can just do an Albi Sage here, maybe. I think that's a safe place. It's one Albi Sage, and we can just do a Void Pulse. We can just do four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can just kill this thing like so. And then we'll end our turn. We dealt with one Hammond Blade Seeker. I don't know if the opponent has more in his hand. So that's going to be an issue. He does have a blink with, with the Chakra Avatar, that could be devastating. Another Hammond Blade Seeker, so let's replace Mana Forger. He's going to blink to kill the Albi Sage, probably. I 
I mean, that's fair. I mean, we... Yeah, the one LB Sage is down. We still have one more, so that's nice. So, let's replace Mono Forger. And we got our Death Knell, which we can't play this turn. So let's just do our Blitborn. Uh, let's bring this down first. Actually, yeah, let's bring this down first, do our Bloodborn spell. Into our Cryptographer. Into another Bloodborn spell. Let's just turtle ourselves in, why don't? <laughs> and then we can just play a Death Knell to return everything next turn, assuming we don't get anything else. And we got a Mana Forger again. I don't know why that's... I don't know. So I'm, I'm taking... I'm taking some damage next turn, probably 8. Oh, we'll see. Or maybe 9 if he has a Mr. Dragon or a, yeah, a Mr. Dragon Seal. He already used one, but a Kindling. At least the Hammond isn't an Arcanist. Yeah, it's Mr. Dragon Seal, so I'm taking 9 damage. Or is the LB Sage taking 9 damage? Yeah, yeah, I'm taking 9 damage. I'm down to 16. So we have to replace the Mana Forger, because that's not a. Th I mean, we got two Death Knells, so. Four, five, six, seven. Let's just move this over here. Then do four, five, six, seven. Then we can just move this over one just in case. And then we'll just play a death knell here. Alright, we have a board. I don't know if it's a good board, but it's a board. We'll just uh Attack the Kindling just in case we'll end our turn. Next turn we can just do a Death Knell into our Bloodborne spell. So I don't know if the opponent has lethal. That's the problem. Like, he can just easily uh, miss Dragon Seal if he has another one. He already used two, but he already got a bonus one from the other Arcanist, so at most he has his two more. Yeah, a oh, Sparrowhawk, so he has another one, which he's probably gonna do to the Chakri or the Kindling. This Dragon Seal with the Chakri. Okay, so I'm taking, what, 8? Or is something else taking 8? I am taking 8. No, I'm taking more than that. I'm taking, I'm beat down to 6. That's not nice. We have to kill that. Um, I can use the Death Note. To kill that, so we'll just do that. Then we can replace Mana Forger. I've got a Prismatic Illusionist. Uh, we can just go forward here, play a Death Knell here. And then we can just do our Bloodborne spell, buff everything up health wise. Hopefully, he doesn't have two Phoenix Fires in his hand. And hope for the best, I'll attack the general for 4. We'll end our turn. See how that goes. Like, if he has two Phoenix Fires, I'm just dead, but we'll see what happens. Trinity Wing, so... That's damage, damage, and heal. I don't know if that's enough to kill me, though. If he has... If he has a Phoenix Fire... Like, three of those cards in his hands are the teachings, which is... Plus one attack, then okay, he forfeited. Okay, that was something. Like that that match was really close. Like all he needed was either two Phoenix Fires or another Mist Dragon Seal and probably would have been dead. Because the Trinity Wing gave him the thing to do two damage and that could have easily killed a Wraithling and he could have Mist Dragon Sealed in the one of his other Arcanists to do lethal. So that was a close match. Wow, that was good.